our next guest became the first Afghan American to win a Grammy Award in 2013. Omar Akram joins us now to talk about his new album, his new music, Destiny High. Hi guys, congratulations how are you? on the album. This album cover is pretty wow. cool. I mean, this is this is a great shot of you. And I'll hold it up there right there. There it is. Yes. Looks like you're the first man on the moon there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Glenn Wexler did the cover. So it's fantastic. Tell me about the music. Thank you. Oh, first of all, thank you very much for having sure. me on the show. Oh, it's a pleasure. Uh, the music, it's uh, it's been challenging, but but very rewarding, I should say. It took you two years, is that Almost right? Almost two years to do this. And when I set out to make uh, Destiny, I really wanted to challenge myself and do something that I haven't done before. So one of the things that I haven't done before is to work with an 80-piece symphony orchestra. And so on two tracks on Destiny, um, I set out and went out and got an ADP symphony orchestra in Slovak in Czech Republic. And uh, the guy who conducted Live at the Acropolis for Yanni, mm -hmm. Sherdot Rohani, uh, conducted the orchestra. And uh, so I, I, I love the results. Right, so I'm you, really excited. And, and you're going to brush that off as like, yo, yeah, I just picked up a <laughs> symphony. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Look, this is, not, this is not an easy thing to suddenly find an, an, an orchestra to do what you wanted it to do. Why did you decide that, and how hard was it to, to do the charts and make that all happen for you, to make it sound just the way you wanted it to do? Well, it uh, you know took me a while uh, to do it. First, I mean, everything that I do is I just sit behind my grand piano mm -hmm. and, and compose. But beyond that, you know, I obviously needed an orchestrator to help me put it together. And then he went out there. Actually, I didn't go to, to conduct it. I, uh, so Sherdal Rani went out to conduct the mm -hmm. orchestra and then sent it back to us. And then we mixed all the tracks together. The beauty of digital right. now, right? Isn't yes. that incredible? Yeah. I want to talk about your roots because I think that's a really interesting part of who you are. And I'm sure it played a huge role in creating your music. So talk about growing up. And Where did you grow up? You were here, right? Born here. Born in New but York. But you have roots and your your dad is it right was a ambassador yes is that right? united nations yes yeah. so i was born in new york uh city uh, my dad worked for united nations in new york and so we traveled to different countries we i lived in afghanistan for a couple of years when i was a kid but then we lived in uh, france and czech republic mm -hmm. where i started wow. to play the piano and then even uh we traveled to cuba and lived there for wow, wow. really so yeah so, so how did that yeah. how did that play into your music? I mean, how did that help you develop your style or did it? Absolutely. I mean, living in these different countries obviously impacts, you know, your music. Mm -hmm. And uh, being exposed to different cultures has been amazing mm -hmm. and very influential in what I do and I hope it reflects in what I've done here in Destiny. Who are your influences? Who do you think you wanted to emulate? What did you want to sound like or did you just want to be so unique that you didn't want to emulate anyone? It's not, it's not so much emulating, it's, you know, when you live in these different countries, you know, you pick up certain things, you know, listening to the music and being exposed to the culture, obviously, you know, influences you a certain way. And, mm -hmm. it, and hopefully it just comes out and becomes something else, mm -hmm. right? Um, tell me, who is one artist out there right now that people know their name that you would love to work with? An artist. I would say uh, I would love to have Andrea Bocelli Ooh. sing uh, uh, one of my tracks. So I, I would love awesome. to have him do that. Yes. Well, that, of course, would be a fantastic collaboration. But you have a very mellow, very smooth voice. I mean, that's you singing, right? Or is that... No. Are you sing who's, whoever's singing in, <laughs> on some of these tracks has a great voice. Well, thank you. But you're not going to believe this. This is Walter Afanasyev singing, uh, the, the famous producer. Walter, you're kidding. Walter, the producer? That, it's crazy, yeah. Tell us what he's done, because he's done a lot of famous things. Uh, he's done a lot of stuff. Well, he produced uh, My Heart Will Go On for Celine Dion for Titanic. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. And he's, he's the gentleman that uh, wrote and co-produced... Uh, uh, All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. Wow. Huge hit. So, huge hit. Every year it goes to number one Christmas time. And who knew he had a voice like that? <laughs> well, I, I think I think he did. Well, you know, this was a big surprise because we wanted Josh Groban to sing on that on the track. Yeah. And then everyone that heard it, 
he basically did the demo. <laughs> and everyone that heard it, they're like, who is this guy? He should, he should, he just, should just leave him, you know? So he wind up, he wind up actually staying on the record and I'm- Who I'm, needs I'm Josh? Thankful, yeah. thankful that he said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be okay. But the music is, it, like Carlos is saying, it's got this really kind of calming vibe and, and it just kind of gets you through the stress, it feels like. Thank you, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, Omar, it's an excellent piece and I rec highly recommend it. Omar Akram, the album is called Destiny. Thanks so much Thank you for, for being coming with in. us. It's been an honor to have you here. Thank you very much, guys.